<clears throat> All right, and we're back uh, for the second part of this tutorial. So I thought I'd make that break point. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, I'm going to actually hide my guides right now. Control colon or command colon. Um, by the way, if you didn't have the rulers, the rulers are control R. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these seven facing sides here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Using the selection tool, which is V. I'm going to go ahead and cut that, make a new layer. And I'm going to press Control F, which places it directly on top of the area it was before. And now, right now, we're not worrying about the back, just worrying about the front which is the front. So right now what I did is I separated the back and the front because we're going to be perhaps coming back to the back part and incorporating that in a little bit of later time. I kind of have some type of light source coming from here and a very and what I want to do is a dimmer light source over here. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, if you go here and you'll see on this top right area over here, the light comes in and then I kind of have as if the light was coming through or out or if there was another light source however you want to go ahead and take it but I thought it looked okay with that type of uh, effect going on there so just to help you out uh, in case you have any questions you want direct numbers the R value is 255 the green value is 161 and the blue value is 196 and this one is 225 and 220 wait, how bad 255 zero for the green and 255 and the value for this one is 102 45 145 pretty much and I said really suggest that you really just do whatever looks right however if you really need if you're the type of person that really wants that to, to have every step stepped out for you that's the colors I went with and then I'm just going ahead and taking the gradient tool it's a it's a radial gradient and I took and make my start point this end right here at the tip made my end point over here once again at that tip point and on this one I think I, I drag it down to this corner over here for that one I'm actually removing the first color I'm going to remove the first color swatch and it's only going to fade from the, the, the semi medium color to this color continue with this one, the second one now. Um, and I totally encourage you to go ahead and experiment with this. Just go ahead and invert it. Dark in the center. And if you notice your gradient circle that you have here, you can actually distort it a little bit, make it an oval if you like. Go ahead and stretch that out just a little bit like that. And also, you if you click anywhere else in the circle, you can change your focal focus point, I guess you could say, like that one. Get that going on. Chose from. And actually, I kind of remember now that this point over here is actually it was supposed to be at the end of that star. If I unhide my guides, which is Control uh, colon, bring that down. That was actually like that. Let me just adjust this one right here. The light source is actually coming from over here. I mean the dark area is over here actually. In this layer we're actually going to go ahead control C then control F. Now make a new layer and drag the little box on the layer icon. There's a little box that goes ahead and it lets you pull it to the next layer. So you just pull, click and drag that up and you put it on the new layer. Alright, now we're actually going to do a little effect to this. Uh, we're going to 
select this I'm gonna lock the one right below it, the layer right below it then we're gonna select everything here uh, which 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 is just these facing seven sides we have uh, we made a copy of and we're gonna go to effect stylize rounded corners Let's set that rounded corners to 20 And I think you probably understand why this, what this point does. Uh, it kind of gives the jewels those little edges and the lines that we're going to have here. There's going to be some gaps, you know, because it's not going to meet up at a perfect edge there, especially since the jewel is being looked at so closely. Um, and now this part is going to be a little bit weird. The outline layer is yellow. I could change that, but I'm going to be needing a background anyway. So I'm just going to drag me out of. A rectangle in the background, make a new layer, put it to the bottom, and put that item on that bottom layer. And now you may not be able to see this on your screen, but you have these corners, even though they look around it, you still have your original corners. So you select that with your direct selection tool or the A on your keyboard. And you go ahead, and I believe I did like I believe I did four taps. Uh, so I think I did two taps in each direction. So I tapped, selected just the corner, just the bottom right corner here, in this little area. And with this piece in particular, I'm going to tap up twice. One, two. Then I'm going to tap left twice. One, two. But I six, so let me just exaggerate a little bit more. Let me make it three. Left one more and up one more. And now I'm grabbing this book corner and I'm still going up, but this time I'm gonna go right. So it's gonna go up two three, then left three, one, two, three. And now with this one, I'm going to go left and down. One, two, three, one, two, three. And with this one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down and right. One, two, three. One, two, three. And pretty much do that for all the corners, except for these corners here to the the edges here. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and hide. Uh, that fourth layer and we just have the rounded the layer with the rounded corners and we're actually going to duplicate that layer two three four five six seven actually you know what yeah we're going to duplicate it we're going to duplicate it we've got a bunch of layers already but we're going to go ahead and control c and control f all right so we got we got um we got two layers with the same thing here because right now we're going to expand appearance and it is no longer an effect it is now actual paths actual lines if you look at this layer you get actual paths in this mode which show that it is in fact rounded edges however if you hide that layer and go to the previous layer and you preview it you will see that it's actually not like that you know as you can see there so um we don't need this other layer right now. I'm gonna bring that. I'm actually gonna drag that down to the bottom and remove the eye on that. And we're just gonna use this one. And then again, we are going to go ahead and copy this and put it on a new layer. Control C, Control F, new layer. Drag it up with the little box. There we go. Because we're gonna need it for some pathfinder reasons. All right, we may not use it till later, but we're gonna make it now because we have all the shapes, and we want to do all the simple stuff right now. So I'm actually gonna hide this rounded corner layer and the other one because we need to make one more thing. We're gonna go ahead and take our old jewel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and Control C and make a new layer. Control F, and drag it to the new layer. 